So this is the FlightScope Mevo, and this is the Rapso MLM2 Pro, two of the most popular launch monitors that have been released in the last couple years. In today's video, we're putting them head to head against the GC3 to see how accurate they really are indoors. So let's do this. So let's meet our competitors. First up is the Mevo coming at $500. So the FlightScope Mevo has been out for a couple years now, and it's a little brother to the Mevo Plus, which is by far one of the most popular launch monitors out right now. But for $499, you can get its little brother, which gives you limited data points, but it gives you a ton of power all none the same. So the data points that the Mevo gives you is carry distance, spin rate, club speed, ball speed, vertical launch, shot apex, smash factor, which is a calculation of swing speed and ball speed, and this can all be used on your iOS or Android device. And what's really cool is that you can even automatically record video, and it has E6 Connect compatibility. For indoor use, you're gonna to need to have the ball eight feet away from the net or screen. Now, usually 10 to 12 feet is recommended, and the unit should be another six to eight feet from behind the ball. And there's a radar within the unit that tracks the shot. And next up is the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro coming at $699. So the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro comes in at $699. But what do you get for that price? Well, you get the MLM2 Pro unit, a tripod, a carrying case, a charging cable, and a one-year premium membership. You also get a sleeve of the new Callaway Chromesoft X Rapsodo Precision Technology, or RPT golf balls. So with the premium membership, by itself, it's $199 a year. But this is included for the first year when you get the unit. Now before I activate my premium membership, the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro did let me use practice mode. However, once I activated my premium membership, then I had had access to both combines and simulation mode. Now, if you look at the Rapsodo's website, the premium membership is not required to use the MLM2 Pro. However, it does significantly enhance the user's experience by giving you access to 30,000 simulated golf courses, their combine training platform, and a whole lot more. So this is how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna do a little test. I'm gonna hit three clubs. I'm gonna hit my driver, my seven iron, and my pitching wedge. And we're gonna see if the Mevo at $500 and the Rapsodo $699 is as accurate as a $6,000 GC3. So let's do this. On his first shot, the Mevo showed a carry of 117.6, while a GC3 showed a carry of 119. So it was only off by 0.4, and the ball speed is showing a carry of 92 versus a 91.9, so a 0.9, that's pretty and quite impressive. And on the spin numbers, it's only off by 21. So with his first shot, the pitching wedge, it's amazing that the numbers are this close. On the second shot with the pitching wedge, the Mevo showed a carry of 109.4 and the GC3 showed a carry of 111, so only off by 1.6. The ball speed is only off by really 0.7, between 89.3 and 88.6, so I mean that's quite impressive. And the spin numbers were only off by about 60, so again, the pitching wedge is dialed in with the Mevo. On this third and final shot of the pitching wedge, the Mevo showed a carry of 114.4, while the GC3 showed a carry of 117. So off by about two and a half yards, definitely within tolerance. And the ball speed was showing a 93.6 versus 93 on the GC3. So a difference of 0.6, that's quite amazing. And the spin again is only off by 25. So all in all, I would definitely say the Mevo is dialed in when it comes to the pitching wedge. On this first shot of the seven iron, the Mevo showed a carry 154.2, while the GC3 showed a carry 154. So only off by 0.2. And the ball speed showing a difference of about one and a half miles per hour which is just crazy and the spin again is only off about 50 so with this first shot of the seven iron the mevo is definitely dialed in on this second shot with the seven iron the mevo showed a carry of 119.8 while the gc3 showed a carry of 126 so a difference of about five and a half definitely within tolerance the ball speed was off by about 1.6 miles per hour with the mevo showing 94.7 versus 93.1 on the gc3 on this third and final shot, the 7-iron, the Mevo showed a carry of 127.4, while the GC3 showed a carry of 117. Now again, I hit this one a little bit fat, and the ball speed was off by about 1.2. So here, the carry is off by about 10 and a half. The ball speed is dialed in, and the spin is only off by 0.4. So it's really interesting how sometimes the Mevo does show the miss hit, and then sometimes the Mevo doesn't. But it's also a $499 unit, and it's quite impressive that it's still within tolerance. But let's go ahead and move on to the driver. Now on this first shot of the driver, it was a total miss hit by me, and the Mevo showed a carry of 187.7, while the GC3 showed a carry of 179, so only off by about eight and a half yards. Definitely within tolerance. Now the ball speed, again, is only off by one mile per hour, and the spin numbers are only off by 40. So on the miss hit on the driver, the Mevo definitely picked up the shot, as well as the GC3. 
On the second shot of the driver, the Mevo showed a carry of 219.7, while the GC3 showed a carry of 224. So off by about three and a half yards, well, well, well within tolerance, especially for a higher hitting club like the driver. Now this ball speed is off by about two. That's quite amazing. And the spin again, it's only off by about 35 to 40. So on a normal hit, the Mevo definitely picks up the shot as well as the GC3. On this third and final shot, the Mevo showed a carry of 21.4, while the GC3 showed a carry of 190. So it's off by about 10 yards. Now it was a little bit of a miss hit by me again. However, you know, it's in the tolerance of, you know, 10 yards. The ball speed's off by about two miles per hour, and the spin was off by about 20. So all in all, you know, even on a miss hit with a driver, or even a fat hit with a driver, and a perfect hit with a driver, the Mevo is quite accurate. So if you guys are enjoying this video, be sure to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. It really helps out our channel. On this first shot with the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro with a pitching wedge, the carry showed 119, while a GC3 showed a carry of 118, so only off by one yard. The ball speeds were exactly the same at 91, and the spin was 71.97 on the MLM2, and the spin was 72.49 on the GC3, so only off by like 50, and that's just crazy. On the second shot with the MLM2 Pro, the carry showed 104 on the pitching wedge, while the GC3 showed the exact same 104, as well as the ball speeds were exactly the same too at 82. And this is what blows my mind. Again, this spin was only off by 50. That's crazy, 50. So 54, 44 on the MLM2 Pro and 54, 99. This thing is dead accurate. On this third and final shot with the MLM2 Pro, the pitching wedge showed a carry of 125. While the GC3 also showed a carry of 125. And the crazy thing here is the ball speed were exactly the same again at 94. And the spin was showing 51.61 on the MLM2 Pro, 52.75 on the GC3. So again, it's off by about, what is that, like 100? So, I mean, this right here shows me that the Rapsodo is dead accurate, again, with the pitching wedge in terms of these numbers. But let's go ahead and move on to the 7-iron. On this first shot, the 7-iron, the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro showed a carry of 142, while the GC3 showed a carry of 139. So it's off by about 3 yards. The ball speeds were exactly the same at 105. And the spin was showing 64.90 on the Rapsodo and 66.75 on the GC3. So it's off by about, you know, 100, 150. But it's pretty darn close, if you ask me. On the second shot of the 7-iron, the carry in the MLM2 Pro showed a carry 133, while the GC3 showed a carry 130. So a difference of about 3 yards. Uh, the ball speeds were off by 1 yard. The Rapsodo showed 99, while the ball speed on the GC3 was 98 miles per hour. And the spin was showing 54.94 on the MLM2 Pro and 55.99 on the GC3. So it's off by about, again, 100, 100? I mean, that's just crazy. On this third and final shot with the MLM2 Pro, the 7 iron showed a carry 140. Well, the GC3 showed a carry 138. So it's off by about two yards. Ball speeds, again, was exactly the same at 103 on the two units. And the spin was showing 57.66 on the MLM2 Pro and 59.24. So it was about 160 off on the spin between these two units. But it blows my mind that what this unit is like a tenth of the price and it's showing the same numbers. But let's go ahead and move on to the final drivers here on the MLM2 Pro. And on this first shot, the carry showed a 204 on the MLM2 Pro, while the GC3 showed a carry a 202. So only off by two yards. Uh, the ball speeds were almost exactly the same. Ball speeds 135 on the MLM2 Pro, 134 on the GC3. And the spin, this is what really crazy, the spin was showing 36.69 on the MLM2 and 3649 on the GC3. So, I mean, 20 RPMs off. I mean, and even on a miss hit, it's almost showing the exact same numbers. On the second shot with the driver, I didn't hit quite right, and the carry was 189 on the Rapsol MLM2 Pro and 191 on the GC3. So this is a complete miss hit. And, you know, we're talking about a difference of two yards. The ball speed is off by about one from each other, you know, 132 on the MLM2 Pro and 131 on the GC3. And the funny thing, again, is the spin is like showing 1971 on the MLM2 Pro and 1949 on the GC3. So, like, 20 on the spin. I mean, this thing is, like, dead on even on a miss hit. On this third and final shot of the driver, the carry showed 235 on the MLM2 Pro and 238. I mean, it's only off by three yards. Um, that's crazy. 
the ball speed were exactly the same at 144, and the spin numbers were only off by eight, eight in RPM. That is, that's that's mind numbing to me. I just can't believe that's that close. So big thanks to our friends Indoor Golf Sign for letting us an amazing indoor golf simulator. To be honest, I'm impressed with both the Mevo and the Repsol ML2 Pro. I mean, they're within the same price point and are as about accurate as the $6,000 GC3. But it's really up to you to decide what features you like better and which one you feel is the better choice. But I'd highly recommend any of you guys out there looking for an affordable launch monitor this season. So there's links down below to both the Mevo and the Repsol MLM2 Pro. But if you want to see what we thought of the Garmin R10, the biggest competitor to both the Mevo and the Repsol MLM2 Pro, then check out this video right here where we put it to the test. And I'll see you in the next video.